Unveiling the Enigmatic Scholar, Zecharia Sitchin, Pioneer of Ancient Astronaut Theory. Exploring the Secrets of the Anunnaki and Humanity's Extraterrestrial Connection. Step into the extraordinary world of Zecharia Sitchin, a visionary scholar whose work has captivated minds around the globe. This epic front page reveals a captivating portrait of the enigmatic researcher, unveiling the man behind the groundbreaking theories that challenge conventional understandings of human history. Quest for knowledge. In this awe-inspiring image, Zecharia Sitchin stands tall, his piercing gaze reflecting both determination and wisdom. Introduction. Zecharia Sitchin, 1920-2010, was a researcher and author known for his theories and writings on ancient astronaut theory and the existence of extraterrestrial beings known as the Anunnaki. This review aims to provide an overview of Sitchin's work, focusing on his main ideas, contributions, and the reception of his theories within mainstream academic circles. Background Sitchin's journey into the realms of ancient civilizations began with his fascination for Sumerian texts, particularly the cuneiform tablets. Drawing upon his linguistic and historical expertise, he dedicated several years to studying and interpreting these ancient writings, which became the foundation for his controversial theories. Main ideas Sitchin's most prominent theory revolves around the existence of the Anunnaki, whom he believed were a race of extraterrestrial beings that visited Earth in ancient times. He proposed that the Anunnaki came from a planet called Nibiru, which had a long elliptical orbit that brought it close to Earth every 3,600 years. He suggested that they genetically engineered early humans, created as a worker race to aid their mining operations on Earth. Furthermore, Sitchin connected ancient myths and texts from various cultures with astronomical events, asserting that the gods mentioned in these stories were actually the Anunnaki. Critics argue that his claims lack empirical evidence, rely on speculative connections, and ignore alternative explanations grounded in established knowledge. Legacy Despite the academic criticisms, Sitchin's books have attracted a dedicated following among those interested in alternative history, ancient mysteries, and extraterrestrial theories. His ideas continue to influence popular culture, with references to his theories appearing in books, television shows, and online communities focused on ancient astronaut theories. Conclusion Zecharia Sitchin's work on ancient astronaut theory and the Anunnaki has sparked both fascination and controversy. It is essential to approach his ideas with critical thinking, taking into account the consensus of experts in relevant fields when evaluating his claims. Well, the story sounds to be fiction by men still pursue Stitchin's dream. Men dream still. He was an author and researcher known for his theories and writings on ancient astronaut theory and the concept of ancient astronauts known as the Anunnaki. Sitchin's most famous work is the book series called, The Earth Chronicles, which includes titles like, The Twelfth Planet, The Lost Realms, and, The End of Days. Sitchin proposed that the ancient Sumerian civilization, which thrived in Mesopotamia, modern-day Iraq, around 6,000 years ago, had contact with extraterrestrial beings called the Anunnaki. He believed that these beings from the planet Nibiru, which he referred to as the Twelfth Planet, came to Earth and played a significant role in the creation of human civilization. Sitchin interpreted ancient Sumerian texts and artifacts to support his theories. Many experts argue that Sitchin's interpretations of the Sumerian texts are flawed and not supported by the consensus of academic research. It's important to note that while Sitchin's ideas have gained some popularity among certain segments of the population, they are considered fringe and are not widely accepted within the academic community. Zecharia Sitchin was born on July 11, 1920, in Baku, Azerbaijan, and grew up in Palestine, which was then under British mandate. He studied at the London School of Economics and graduated with a degree in economic history. After completing his education, Sitchin worked as a journalist and editor in Israel before moving to the United States in the 1950s. In the early years of his research, Sitchin became intrigued by ancient Mesopotamian texts, particularly the Sumerian cuneiform tablets, which were some of the earliest known written records. Sitchin devoted many years to studying these texts and became one of the few scholars who could read and understand the Sumerian language. He believed that the ancient Sumerian civilization held important clues about humanity's origins and extraterrestrial contact. Drawing from his linguistic and historical background, Sitchin began to interpret the Sumerian texts in a unique way. 
he proposed that the ancient gods described in these texts were, in fact, extraterrestrial beings known as the Anunnaki. According to Sitchin, the Anunnaki came to Earth from the planet Nibiru and were responsible for genetically manipulating early humans, leading to the creation of modern humans. Sitchin's interpretations of the Sumerian texts and his theories about the Anunnaki gained attention through his books, lectures, and interviews. While his work has attracted a dedicated following, it has also faced criticism from mainstream scholars and experts who question his translations, interpretations, and conclusions. The Twelfth Planet, Sitchin's first book, The Twelfth Planet, published in 1976, introduced his theory about the existence of an additional planet in our solar system called Nibiru. He argued that Nibiru had an elongated orbit that brought it close to Earth every 3,600 years, and it was the home planet of the Anunnaki. Ancient astronaut theory Sitchin's ideas align with the concept of ancient astronaut theory, which suggests that extraterrestrial beings visited Earth in ancient times and influenced human civilization. According to Sitchin, the Anunnaki were responsible for numerous advancements in human development, including genetic engineering, agriculture, and the establishment of early civilizations. Sumerian cosmology Sitchin's interpretations of Sumerian cosmology and mythology provided the foundation for his theories. He believed that the Sumerian gods, known as the Anunnaki, were flesh and blood beings from another planet rather than divine entities. Linguistic expertise One of Sitchin's notable skills was his ability to read and translate Sumerian cuneiform texts. However, his linguistic interpretations have been criticized by scholars who argue that his translations are often selective and not in line with the mainstream understanding of Sumerian grammar and vocabulary. Critics argue that his interpretations of Sumerian texts are highly speculative and not supported by the broader scholarly community. They point out that his work relies on assumptions and ignores alternative explanations for the ancient texts. Popular influence Despite the criticisms, Sitchin's books have gained a considerable following, and his ideas have been embraced by some alternative and fringe communities interested in ancient mysteries and extraterrestrial theories. It's important to approach Sitchin's work with a critical mindset and consider the broader consensus of experts in relevant fields when evaluating his claims. While his theories have sparked interest and discussion, they are not supported by the majority of scholars in archaeology, history, and related disciplines. Anunnaki and human origins Sitchin proposed that the Anunnaki, as described in the Sumerian texts, were responsible for genetically manipulating early humans to create a worker race to assist them in their mining operations on Earth. He suggested that the Anunnaki needed gold to repair their planet's atmosphere, and thus they came to Earth to mine gold and used genetic engineering to create Homo sapiens. Alternative chronology Sitchin's theories also challenged the mainstream chronology of human civilization. He believed that the Sumerian civilization predates other known ancient civilizations by thousands of years and proposed an alternative timeline for human history. Planetary influences Sitchin connected the ancient Sumerian myths and texts with astronomical events and celestial bodies. He argued that the ancient gods and their activities were linked to the movements and interactions of planets, particularly Nibiru. However, his astronomical interpretations have been criticized as inaccurate by astronomers and astrophysicists. Continuing series Sitchin continued to publish books expanding on his theories and interpretations throughout his career. Some of his notable works include, The Wars of Gods and Men, The Lost Book of Enki, and, There Were Giants Upon the Earth. Legacy and Debate Sitchin's work has sparked ongoing debates in various fields, including ancient history, archaeology, and linguistics. While some individuals find his ideas intriguing and thought-provoking, the majority of scholars and experts dismiss his theories as lacking evidence and coherence. Popularity and influence Despite the controversy surrounding his work, Sitchin's books have been widely read and have influenced popular culture. His ideas have been embraced by certain segments of society interested in alternative history, ancient mysteries, and extraterrestrial theories. Therefore, it's advisable to approach his work with critical thinking and consider multiple perspectives before drawing conclusions. Divine Encounters In his book, Divine Encounters, Sitchin explored the idea of ancient astronauts interacting with humans in various cultures and civilizations beyond just the Sumerians. He examined myths, texts, and artifacts from different regions, including Egypt, India, and South America, to support his theory of extraterrestrial intervention. The Nephilim Sitchin associated the biblical term, Nephilim, with the Anunnaki. He believed that the Nephilim mentioned in the book of Genesis were the offspring of the Anunnaki and human interbreeding. Controversies and debates Mainstream academics and researchers have heavily criticized Sitchin's work. 
Critics argue that his translations of Sumerian texts often diverge from accepted scholarly interpretations, and his claims are based on cherry-picked evidence and imaginative speculation rather than rigorous analysis. Lack of support from Pierce It's important to note that Sitchin's theories and interpretations have not gained traction among his peers in relevant fields. Sitchin's approach Sitchin approached ancient texts and myths with a literal and non-allegorical perspective, considering them as historical records rather than symbolic or metaphorical narratives. Legacy and influence Despite the academic criticisms, Sitchin's work continues to have a following among those interested in alternative theories and ancient mysteries. His ideas have influenced popular culture, appearing in books, television shows, and online communities dedicated to ancient astronaut theories and extraterrestrial visitation. Remember that while it's important to explore different perspectives and theories, it is equally crucial to consider the consensus of experts in relevant fields. 1. In Gods, Demons, and Symbols of Ancient Mesopotamia, an Illustrated Dictionary. 4. Ancient Astronauts, Cosmic Collisions, and Other Popular Theories About Man's Past. Oxford University Press. Review of the Twelfth Planet by Zechariah Sitchin. Journal of the American Oriental Society, 120, 2, 305 to 307. Please note that the provided references cover a range of sources, including academic books, scholarly articles, and critical evaluations.